Hello everyone. In this lecture, we'll be learning about uh, cycloconverters using which we can not only control the magnitude of the outputs, we can also control the frequency of the outputs. Uh, now, for one phase to one phase cycloconverter, we can see that uh, this half of the circuit is um, uh, is quite similar to our full bridge rectifier, and again we have another half. Uh, this half of the circuit. This is also similar to full bridge rectifier, but the direction of the switch is in opposite direction. This part is called negative converter, and this loop, this part is called positive converter. That is, positive converter looks like full bridge rectifier, and negative converter also looks like full bridge rectifier, but the uh, direction of the switches are opposite. Now, how do they work? First. Uh, with this Vs is our input voltage. If Vs is our input voltage at the positive half of the circuit, what we do? We put our gate pulses at this and this switch. That is, suppose we are numbering the switches 1, 2, 3, 4. So at the positive half, we give uh, gate pulses as 1 and 4. Then what happens? The current flows in this direction through 1 and comes back to 4 and goes to the negative terminal of Vs and as a result this whole positive cycle is uh, comes in the output. In the negative cycle we apply gate voltage to uh, 2 and 3. So in the negative cycle here we apply voltage to 2 and 3 and as a result again uh, the voltage uh, <coughs> the voltage uh, first passes through 2 then it goes to the load in this direction and it goes through 3 just to the opposite end and where it terminates. As a result, this negative part is also connected, uh, also giving positive output. Uh, because in both the cases, the current through the load is from the top terminal to the bottom terminal. So, in both cases, the voltage across the load is positive. So, this part of operation is very similar to a full wave rectifier. In the next next half of the circuit, also we are considered we are switching on switch one and four, and in the next half two and two, uh, two and three, and this is how the operations are very similar to <coughs> uh, full bridge rectifier. But what happens uh, uh, now? What's the difference between full bridge rectifier and a cycloconverter? The difference lies in the negative converter. At any point, we may decide to choose uh, choose to operate the negative converter. For example. Suppose at uh, this point of time, at this point of time, we are choosing to operate the negative converter. If we choose to operate the negative converter, we have our VS here. Then what happens is we turn on this and this switch. Let us name it, name them 5, 6, 7, 8. So we turn on 6 and 7. When we turn on 6 and 7, what happens is the voltage goes to here and then through the load from bottom to top. And come back to the two six and to the negative terminal. As a result, what happens in this case? The current through the load is from bottom to top, and as a result, the voltage is negative. In the next half of the cycle, we switch on uh, switch number five and eight, and again, as a result, the current goes to eight at first. Uh, from bottom to top, it goes to the load, and then then it then comes back to five to the positive uh, to the other end of the terminal. As a result, this voltage, since the current goes from bottom to top, this voltage is also negative. So, here we have, uh, in this ex particular example, we have designed the gate pulses in such a way that for the first two cycles, for the first two cycles, our uh, uh, output is entirely positive and for the next two cycles, our output is entirely negative. Now, suppose, uh, here, if the time, if the frequency of this particular this particular thing was uh, 40 hertz, suppose, then the frequency of this particular signal would be one by uh, uh, would be one by four into 40. That is 10 hertz. Why is that? Because if it was 40 40 hertz, it, in one by 40 seconds, it will have one cycle. So it will have four cycles in four by 40 seconds. That is time period of uh, time period of four circle would be four by forty, which is the time period of a single circle uh, here. As a result, 
the frequency in this case would be uh, 40 by 4 is equal to 10 hertz that is using this we have decreased the frequency to uh, uh, to one fourth of it so actually what we can do is we can decrease the frequency uh, as we can see we can only decrease the frequency we cannot increase it but we can decrease the frequency by one third one uh, or half or uh, one fourth one fifth like that we can do and again what we can do is we can make this cyclo converter a voltage converter as well that is not only can it de de uh, decrease the frequency it can also decrease the voltage how can it do that it can decrease the voltage by implying uh, an alpha or a firing angle for example if the firing angle is 60 degree then what happens the at initial stage some part of the voltage is uh, we can see at the initial stage some part of the voltage over here and here these get truncated as these get truncated the output voltage becomes lower than the input voltage and as a result the cyclo converter can work as both voltage converter and on and also as frequency converter and we can also vary alpha for example in this third third example alpha is varied for different person for example at first the value of alpha was say alpha was say 60 degree in the second cycle alpha was zero in the third alpha was again zero in the fourth alpha was 60 degree that is how we can also vary the pulse positions and get the output accordingly but one thing is to be noted that since this is a cyclo converter or ac ac controller its input is ac and the output is also ac so what we need to do is the gate pulses that we provide in the positive direction should be similar to the gate pulses that we provide in a negative direction because we want uh, the area in the positive direction or the voltage in the positive direction to be same to the voltage in negative direction so that average voltage becomes zero which is the which is the characteristics of ac signal now let us look at three phase to uh, three phase to one phase cyclo converter three phase to one phase cyclo converter looks much like uh, three phase rectifier and its operation is almost same so the operation of cyclo converter and operations of rectifiers are uh, almost exactly the same here also we have a positive bridge and a negative bridge and the operation is similar in the in the negative bridge only the uh, SCR are directed in the opposite direction if you want to look at the voltage wave shape if you if we look at this part of the wave shape we can see that this part of the wave shape is similar to what we found for full uh, three phase rectifiers for alpha is equal to 60 degree for alpha is equal to 60 degree we have found that the voltage wave shape is similar to this and we know the uh, gate patterns uh, gate signal patterns for alpha is equal to 60 degree in the similar way we can generate the gate signal patterns in this direction so that uh, when for this 360 degree to 420 degree at this range this voltage that is this is actually the BC we can generate the gate pattern in such a way that we BC gets activated and we get the negative voltage out of it it's very easy thing to do uh, uh, because if we understand the, how the rectifier works it's uh, we can easily use the positive half or the positive uh, uh, converter to get this output and we can use the negative converter to this uh, get this output I'm not going into detailed discussion of it because the operation is exactly the same as you would find in three phase uh, three phase full, uh, full bridge rectifiers. So if you have understood that operation, you are you should be able to understand how this works and explain the this uh, the methodology of this work. That's all for cyclo converter. And in the next lecture, next set of lectures, we'll be learning about some applications of power electronics in our daily life. Thank you.